Hey everyone, welcome to The Cabin. My name is Alec Britz, and today we're checking out the API 512C microphone preamplifier. I'm going to show you everything you get when you purchase the unit, and most importantly, how it sounds. Thanks very much to Studio Care for letting these videos be a possibility. Let's jump right in. We have the API 512C mic pre's over here, and they're in the API 500V 10 slot power rack. Starting on the top, we have the input gain, we have our metering up to plus 18, we have a polarity switch, plus 48 volt phantom power, minus 20 decibel pad, and a mic switch. When it is depressed, the high Z input is active. We also have XLR in on the front, as well as the rear. Next up, you get to hear how this mic pre sounds. I'll see you at the end with my thoughts. We held out for a warning sign At the edge of the borderline of our sanity Called it an anomaly Broken hearted but still we stand At the edge of this promised plan We held in a dream Enforced into reality Fear and indecision Cause for this collision that we Can't get out of your manipulation, the need for salvation that we held out for. Honey, feel my emotion, just like the moon and the ocean, the love is far apart. Oh. So, the API 512C microphone preamplifier. The first time I ever came across APIs was in a beautiful studio here in Liverpool called the Motor Museum. I had set up my drums, done the sound check, and I was going to the control room for the first listen, and I looked at the engineer and I said to him, what the hell have you done to my drums? The tom sounded unbelievable, and the snare had this punch like right in the chest. And he looked at me and he was like, oh mate, Gotta tell you, whenever you put a Sennheiser MD421 with an API, that's it, mate. It's like Punch City, you know what I mean? And I looked at him and I was like, man, that's the weirdest accent I've ever heard. And then he looked at me and he's like, dude, you're talking to yourself on a YouTube video. But he wasn't lying. So when the opportunity came for me to be able to do a review on them, I did exactly the same thing. I set them up on the drums and I was like, oh my goodness, me. And then I'd obviously read electric guitars and then I tried it and I was like, whoa, my gosh, it sounds like every record I like. But then I thought to myself, hang on, how does it sound on things that are like really dynamic, things that are quiet and not about punch city, mate? I set it up on my battered old upright piano with the felt with the Earthworks SR25 microphones, and I was expecting to hear kind of a bit of a brittleness or a bit of harshness or noise. Nope, not at all, not today. And then I tried the acoustic guitars, same thing. It was just beautiful, open, exciting, but not brittle or harsh. I had read somewhere that APIs are not favorable for vocals. So in the interest of good science and doing YouTube reviews, which are not necessarily linked by the way, I tried to record myself. So I used the Neumann FET 47 on my voice with the 512Cs and I was really happy with the result. 
And then a week later, I had a session in here with the female vocalist with quite a breathy voice. And after we'd done the first take to take a listen to the microphone and see how we felt about it, the three of us looked at each other and it was breathtakingly good. A week after that, I had another female vocalist in with a slightly thicker, heavier voice. And the same thing happened again. And mixing both of those tracks, I haven't had to do extraneous amounts of EQ or crazy automation or anything insane to kind of compensate for like sibilance or any of that stuff. That's not to say that I would call the API mic pre forgiving. Let me explain. If your snare drum is a little bit out of tune, or if your mic placement is slightly off, this thing is gonna let you know about it. It will make you a better engineer because if you get it wrong, it's not gonna do that beautiful smoothing thing where it's like, oh, don't worry about it, mate, I got you, you know? It's heavy duty. Like, when you get it right, it's so rewarding, and when it comes time to mix, you are thankful that it's not a very forgiving microphone preamplifier. It's not to say that everything's perfect, of course. There's a couple of things that I would like to see added to this mic pre. Now, API have two of the 512 series mic pre's available. They have the 512C, which you've seen here, and the 512V. And the 512V has got an output part, which allows you to trim the output. This guy is hot, like, it has a lot of headroom, I think it's plus 28 dBU or something, so having an output part, I think, is kind of a necessity. The other thing that both of these mic pre's don't have is a rumble filter, like two switches that are 40, 80, and then together 120 or something like that. That would go a really long way because of how dynamic they are and how good they sound on delicate sources. So that is pretty much the only thing that I would change about this mic pre. I think that I would go for the 512Vs personally, but sonically, I cannot fault it at all. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you have subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for doing so. If you would like to subscribe, please do. That really helps a long way. Or you can give this video a thumbs up, as they all say on the old YouTube. Most importantly, I hope that you are all looking after yourselves and that you're being kind. See you soon.